And I remember long, long time ago on Calvary, Jesus made a confession. He made what looked like at the time a very ridiculous confession. He told us, homeboys, we call them the disciples. He said, on the third day, I'm going to rise again. His boys say, what do you mean? You're going to rise again. He said, they're going to bury me in a borrowed grave. But don't you weep and don't you worry. Let me make a confession. Let me open my mouth and say it may look like I'm dead. And I want you to know right now, the prophetic voice, somebody has already written you off. Somebody have already called you dead. Somebody have already said you wasn't going to make it. Somebody has already canceled your destiny and your future. But Jesus said, at the risk of looking crazy, I need you to open your mouth and confess the opposite of what everybody else said about you. Jesus says, I am go get up on the third day no matter how big the stone no matter how deep the grave no matter how many gate keepers and gate haters at the gate Jesus says they will not be able to contain me I made a confession I don't know your name but I dare you to confess right now everybody who said you were dead I need you to call them a liar right now let them know right now the stone getting ready to move because I kept reading my Bible after he made the confession he ended up in a difficult situation it's amazing when you make a confession excuse my language but when you make a confession I ain't gonna be a whole mother no more how she'll show up looking like Holly Berry I dare you to make your mind up. I'm not going to drink no more. And you pass by a billboard half price Friday night. I dare you to make confession. I'm not going to be broke no more. And then a red apple sale comes. It seems like as soon as I make my confession, the devil get busy. But the Bible says he operated with a spirit of obedience because he hung there. He said, nevertheless, let thy will be done. I want to come off the cross. It's real heavy right now. I want to come off the cross. It's real painful right now. I want to walk away from my assignment. It's more than I imagined. But he operated with a spirit of obedience and he just hung there. He hung there. And not only was he obedient, but he was committed because the Bible says his sweat started to turn to blood and he had the power to call a legion of angels to come get him off the cross but he was committed to the very end how many how many how many of you today will commit yourself to the very end if it was you on the cross if it was you hanging in my place, how long would you have stayed? But I thank God Jesus hung it out so you and I wouldn't get hung up so you and I could be set free. I pray you've been blessed. I pray you're ready to go to another level.